two. This is a great workout to help strengthen all the areas around your hips and really target your glutes. For this workout, you're gonna need a step, you're gonna need a kettlebell, a band, and some dumbbells if you have them. First thing we're gonna do are goblet squats. So you're gonna take your kettlebell. I want a wider stance. Really picture your knees driving outward and lower down and back up. We're doing 20 of these. If you have to, and you've just started this workout, start with 10. That's 10. If you can, let's do 10 more. Make sure you're really driving upwards with your glutes. Five more. And hold five, four, three, two, one. You can do it and back up. You're gonna take your band, make sure it's strong enough. Put it up on your knees. Keep your feet pretty close together. And we're gonna rotate our knees out. This should be a heavy enough band that you can really feel this in the side of your hips. It's five, let's do 15. Keep your core nice and strong as you're doing this. You got three more. And on the last one, hold five, four, three, two, one. Let go. Back to goblet squats. Again, legs turn outward, driving the knees outward. We're trying to do 20 again. Do what feels comfortable to you. Everyone has to start somewhere. So you might want to start with just five sets of 10 in between. That's 10. Stop if you need to. We're going to keep going to 20. Last one, hold, five, four, three, you can do it, two, one, and let go. Okay. Now clear space on your floor, get your band. First, before we even use the band, see if you can do the movement. Keep your shoulder over your elbow, hips are stacked. You're going to come up into a side plank and then lift the knee and your heel at the same time and back down. Again, you should be feeling these in the side of your hip. That's 10, let's do five more. And hold, five, four, three, two, one, and relax. Now for those of you that that was relatively easy, you can use the band to make it harder. Put it around your knees. Let's do the other side. Five. 
That's 10, let's do five more. And last one, hold five, four, three, two, one, and let go. Good job. We are halfway back to goblets. Good, we're doing 20. These really help with your range of motion and get you into that deep squat position, which is awesome for your body, for your hips. There should be no pain or pinching. If there is, don't go down so low. That's 10. If you can, let's do 10 more. Okay, last one, let's hold. Five, four, three, two, one, and relax. Okay, if you have them, we're gonna take dumbbells. We're gonna hold them like this. If this is too hard, you can hold them like this. If you don't have dumbbells, you can hold a kettlebell like this. If you don't have any weights, you can do this without them. We're gonna hold here, keep our stance wide. The wider you are, the harder it is. And we're doing side lunges. At the top, really squeeze your butt cheeks together. Feel that stretch in your groin. We're doing 10 each side. Make sure your toes are pointed straight. You're sinking nice and low. We got 10 more. Two more here. Let's hold five, four, three, two, one on that leg, and let's hold five, four, three two, one, and relax. Goblet squats again. You know the drill. That's two, probably pretty tired at this point. We're almost done. Make sure your form is still good. For those people doing 10, you're done. Everyone else, let's keep going. Two more. Last one, let's hold. Five, four, three, two, one, and relax. Okay. Next thing we're gonna do for the hamstrings, you're gonna take your kettlebell, you wanna find a wall and put your back leg pushing against the wall, hop forward a little bit. We're doing single leg kettlebell. Staying nice and straight, tucking your tailbone, and here we go. I'm bending down and I'm pushing backwards at the same time. You should be feeling this in your hip. Picture that your butt is trying to close a door. You're not bending from your back. That's 10, other side. Keep a nice slight bend in the knee to protect your knee. You're kicking back and you're bending forward from the hip. Okay, and this is all hamstring. You should feel this right here. We got two more. Beautiful. Last round of goblet squats. 
You're almost there. Good, wide legs, let's go. I know you wanna give up, let's keep going and get through this workout. That's 10, all my tenors out there. Let's keep going for everybody else. Almost there. And we're gonna hold five, four, three, two, one, and relax. Last exercise in between are pistols. You're gonna find a comfortable seat. Balance with your knee, and we're gonna stand up and sit back down with control. We're doing 10. Don't let the knee turn inward. Nice and strong. That's five. And last one. And go nice and slow. Five, four, three, two, one. And down. Other side. You're not sweating at this point, you're doing something wrong. Again, make sure that knee isn't caving in, that it's pushing out. We got three more. Okay, last one, try to hold it as long as you can on the way down. Five, four, three, two, one. Good job, that was hip two. 